<laughs> Hi there, I am Sandra Solomon and this is the channel where I share fragrances that I really like. And today I have a special guest. I have Rotten Rebel besides me. Hi. Yes, and uh, he has brought some of his favorite perfumes and I am going to rate them. Yes. Yeah. So uh, can you tell me how you chose these 10 out of your many favorites? Mm. So I have uh, pretty much all of my fragrances are my favorites. I chose them for a reason, so I love pretty much all of them. Not exactly 100% all of them, but a lot of them. So I, it's really tough for me to pick uh, like a top 10 favorites. But for this time around, I wanted to pick some that I really love that I feel that you might not have been that much exposed to. And I also wanted to switch things up, so I chose some which I feel are classics in my books that I own, maybe that I had for quite a few years. And there are at least, let's see, one, two, three I think that are sort of a brand new that I bought this year and one that I bought like two weeks ago. Okay. So you uh, will be exposed to different kinds of scents that I had, some that I had for a few years, some that I just had for a few weeks uh, and I also tried to choose different kinds of scents. So we have some freshies, we have fruity ones, we have leathery ones, we have tobacco ones. Uh, so yeah, you these are really why th these are di really different so it's going to be interesting to hear your thoughts on them yes and i'm excited to try them out cool so let's begin yes yes and how are we going to do this yeah so um um just in case you would sort of a bit let your the name of the brand influence your judgment yes uh we decided that uh, she is not going to see which which perfume I spray on. So she's gonna just get the testing strip, smell it and let us know how she feels about it. And then afterwards, I am going to tell you guys and her which uh, perfume it was. Uh, and I think that's basically it. And you're yes. gonna grade it from one to five, right? Yes. Okay, cool. So I so uh, think that should you should... I close my eyes when you spray yeah, on? Yeah. yeah, so let's, if you close your eyes and we are going to try the first one. There you go. And now I can look. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is... It's like, I was going to say gasoline. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. <laughs> that... <laughs> gasoline and citrus. Mm -hmm. And it's a nice fragrance, but it's not the kind of fragrance that I'm mostly into. Mm. So It is um, like all of these, uh, like most perfumes uh, that are not linear, you are going to have the opening and then you're going to have the dry down. Yeah. And, and the dry down of this is uh, like a mix of vanilla, a bit yes. of apple, I believe. No, it's more spicy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so you picked up the citrus now. Yes. That's correct. Uh, but the dry down is so, sort of a vanillic with some, a woody side. And I believe you it would is. probably enjoy the dry down. But my suggestion is that we put these. Uh, the the strips next to the bottle yeah and you can sniff the dry down as well when we so we're taking around with the opening first yeah. and then we take, take okay. the dry down yes okay, okay. So, so what do you think of the opening of that one the opening of this one was quite strong uh, quite it was not that kind of perfume that you know when you spray it on it just smells amazing mm. right away this was okay. kind of difficult in the beginning mm -hmm. but I am hoping for the dry down because it got better so I think we should just rate, we should rate the opening and the dry down. So the opening of this one gets a two and a half. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So that was um, Parfums de Marly and Leighton. Uh, wow. Leighton is a well-known um, perfume from uh, Parfums de Marly. Um, 
it's been hyped to the sky and beyond uh, but i do believe that this is uh, it lives up to the hype yeah. uh, i love it and um, honestly there are few women who doesn't enjoy this mm, but you just you you just barely enjoy the opening so <laughs> yeah. this is going to be interesting so let's put it here so okay. yeah so um uh leighton is basically like a uh woody fruity uh and spicy uh blend with uh, vanilla at the base uh and the vanilla is what we are going to wait for hopefully yes. you're going to enjoy that uh, and yes. I do remember that you also said about this one that this is one of your most usable perfumes. That yeah. You can use it just whenever. Yeah, and it's, everybody it's a likes really it. versatile one. So I, even though I don't actually, I should use it way more often because I do love it and people love it on me, but for some reason I don't use it that often. But it is without a doubt one of my most versatile kind of perfumes. Yeah. Uh, so let's move on to the next yes, one, right? Yes, I'm closing my so, eyes. Close your eyes and I think you are going to know what this one is. Oh my god, now I feel the pressure. There you go. You can look now. Mm, this is the one that smells like um, that... Um, dilled pickles. Yes, yeah. dilled pickles, <laughs> yes. And this is really cool. Or pickled... Me. Pickle, dill, pickles. Just dill. Dill or pickles, yeah. Just yeah. dill, yeah. And it's it's a really strange perfume that really smells like dill, mm. but in some way I really like it. Mm. Um, and this is one that I do remember that I like it in the opening and I do like it mm. also in the dry down. So it's, it will be interesting. but. I think the opening is really cool. This is not the kind of fragrance that I think when you smell it for the first time, it's not like you go, wow, this is so mm. sweet and nice and beautiful. It's like, wow, this is a little bit disgusting, but mm -hmm. it's also very interesting mm. and smelling good. Mm. And okay, so I think the opening gets a four because I think Whoa. it's really cool. So you like Dylan? Yes, oh, or I don't actually in food. But like this. Mm, interesting. Yeah. So um, yeah, that uh, that is uh, Santal 33. Mm, it's uh, what I call uh, magic, pure magic. I love Santal. Um, a lot of people, especially in the opening, that's pretty much the only time when you can pick that dill sort of a, yeah. or pickle water uh, scent up. Uh, that one goes fades away, and what's left is basically the best kind of sandalwood that you can put your uh, money on. Um, it's sandalwood and cedar, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and a bit of other, I believe there's musk as well in it. Uh, yeah. And uh, what can I say, this, uh, this one, uh, the bottle says, uh, so when you buy a Lalaba, you can put your name on it if you want, but I did not put my name on it because this Perfume makes me happy. So what does it say for here? Ah, happiness. Yeah. That's so fun. So uh, this is one of my sort of a happiness uh, perfumes. I love this one. And um, this is one that I, I mean, people chase me down the street for this <laughs> one. Uh, I get complimented a ton. This is without a doubt one of my most complimented uh, perfumes. I just love it. Yeah. It is 100% unique. Uh, interesting that you uh, and it, gave it a four, even though you said that it was with the scent of dill. It's slightly disgusting uh, in the opening, but in a good way. So it's going to be interesting what you think of the dry down. Yes, then. Uh, and uh, before I forgot to say it, um, don't forget to visit Rotten Rebels channel, mm. and you have done a review on the. Yeah, maybe the you can link to it if you want. Yes. So, um, so yeah, let's okay, so move I'm on. This here. And you close your My eyes. eyes are closed. You can do, do just whenever when I sit like this. And the next one is going to be so exciting to see if you like it. Yes. And I think I have an idea of which one this is. I think mm. it's one million. Mm -hmm. The Eau de Parfum. Mm, no, it's not. It's not. No. 
Oh my god, I really like this. This is spicy and fruity in the opening. Mm, but can you pick up what... There's some specific, uh, specific kind of unique character to it. Like a specific kind of scent. Can you pick what it is? It doesn't have to be a note, but a characteristic of perfume that is in it. It begins with P. It's... Not patchouli. No, it's powdery. Powdery, yes. Yes, oh. now I get... Oh. I said, so, yeah. Yeah, so I know how powdery... Do you pick it up now? That yes. is a bit powdery. Yes. Yeah. And I really like powdery perfumes. Mm. So this is really nice. So what are you going to give that one? In the opening, a four. I think it's a, a really good one. Yes. So do you think it's... Um, uh, is it... Maybe a five because wow. it's a really good opening. Mm, this it is, is. This is that kind of perfume that smells good immediately. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but then I want to see how it evolves mm. as well. But do you feel that it's uh, if you would say in like a specific kind of situation for a man, is it like a sporty? Is it uh, like the perfect dating perfume? I think this or? one is sexy, and uh -huh. I would definitely enjoy it on a date. Mm. Or in the bed. Whoa! Okay, then it's a good one. Yes. Uh, so this is um, Prada's. Uh, wow. You okay, my the mind name. went blank. This is Prada. It's not Prada. Long Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be Prada Long Intense. Yeah, that's probably. Um, I love this one. It's it's just. It has that powdery iris. It's it's really sexy scent. It has some spices. It also has a slight hint of sweetness in it. Yeah. Uh, there's just something about something unique about this, and I'm sure you uh, you out there know exactly what I'm talking about. When you spray it on, there's something that just makes you go crazy. This one makes me feel sexy. It may, just makes me feel so good. And I do feel that this is unique, and I feel that it's way better than the original Prada Lom. Um, so yeah, this I I'm, I was pretty sure, certain that you would enjoy it, yeah. uh, and it was fun that it it also has like a slight leather note. I'm not sure if you can pick it up. Yes, I do get the leather iris combination mm. that I really like so much. Mm. Um, actually, this is a perfume that I would be very comfortable wearing it, mm. and I. Uh, could see it in my collection, but I don't want to destroy it, mm -hmm. uh, the feeling of this ah. perfume on a man, because ah, okay. if I wear it myself, that will change. Mm -hmm. okay. So, even though I really love it, uh, I'm not going to buy it, because I want to smell it on a man. So your score for this, for the opening was? Five. Five, wow. Yes. So this is like the, the perfect opening then. Yeah. So close your eyes and we're going to check out the next one and see how you feel about that one. Here you go. Mm. This is leather. Mm. This is such... Wow. This is um, like Ajo de Parma leather, but better. Mm. It's a little bit more around us. Not sweet, but maybe fruity or... Yes, this mm. is good leather. I really like it. And I actually do like the opening of leather perfumes, mm. even though it's very sharp and, and edgy. Depending on which leather, though. Yeah. There are some yeah. that are really smooth. Yeah, that's, um, that's true. And you really know leather perfumes. But I would say that this is not similar to Aqua de Parma's leather, because no. that one to me is really raw. This one is probably, so this is Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. Uh, I, I believe I was one of the first ones to get this. Wow. Uh, at least over here, I fell in love with it from the get-go. Um, what can I say? This, I, I'm pretty sure that I made a video about it, but I can't remember. But uh, <laughs> this to me is probably one of the best leather that you can buy. Yes. And it is without a doubt one of my most complimented leather fragrances. Uh, it is so, it, you can really feel the leather, but the leather is so well balanced together with the other notes. You also have some jasmine in it. Uh, you have a bit of sweetness at the base. It's just perfect. Yes. Uh, I would say that this is more like the inside of a car. Mm. 
in a very good way. Yeah, the then, inside uh, of a new car yeah, than yeah. Aqua di Parma. Aqua di Parma is so yeah. sharp and, and raw. Yeah. This is more a beautiful leather. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, this is this is one that I, I if I spray it on and I get some of it on my clothes and the next time, let's say my jacket, and the next time I put on my jacket, I can still feel that scent on me. Uh, I just go bananas. Mm. I just love it. Um, so it yeah, is this, is, this is one of those that have been in my top for quite some time. Uh, what are you gonna give the opening? Um, since I really like leather fragrances and I like the opening of leathers, so this is a five as well. Wow, cool. Yes. So, and do you feel, uh, is it like, a, is it good uh, men's for dating? Is it good for, uh, um, when should a guy have it on? Um, I actually don't know how how women react to leather fragrances. How uh, do you, you react? Know, you know that much better than me, uh, but I would definitely enjoy this on a mm. man on a date. Mm. Uh, and that would also tell me that he has good taste. Mm. So uh, it's kind of a statement to wear a leather perfume to mm. a date, I think. Okay. Um, so yeah, definitely. It, and I would maybe not see it on a man in an office. Mm -hmm. it's, Okay. Kind of strong in it. Not everyone. Oh likes. my God! You know what? How many <laughs> offices have I not sort of spread this one around me? And wow. I always overspray. And I had so many comments okay. like, "Yeah, you know what? I could smell you outside the office <laughs> with that one." So yeah, this is a beast mode perfume. It's awesome. Uh, I can highly recommend it. It's going to be fun to see how your reaction is after dry down. Yes. But you gave the opening five, right? Yeah. So let's uh, close. Let Let's My close your eyes, eyes and then it's time for the next one. You can open up your eyes. Mm, this smells like Coca-Cola. Mm. <laughs> I'm guessing amber or something. Um, this reminds me a bit about Ambre Nuit, but in a different way. So I like, believe this one actually has one of your favorite notes, violet. Wow. I can't say I feel any violet now. And it's slightly boozy. Can it you pick is. up the boozy side of it? It's boozy, but I think it's more of a Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, if you guys have watched uh, some of our uh, videos on my channel, then you might have heard our discussion on uh, bourbon vanilla. Yes. And this one has bourbon vanilla in it. Yes. And, and can to you my just... nose, this is the best goddamn bourbon vanilla I ever okay. put my nose to in a perfume. And maybe when you say that, I can actually pick up some similarity with the other perfumes. There are two, two different, two completely different fragrances, but I can Which recognize one? the vanilla, the bourbon vanilla. Ah, no, I was just talking about bourbon vanilla as a okay. note. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. Ah. Um, so yeah. this is but like a vanillic well, but, yeah. uh, base together with some boozy together with um, uh, violet and a few other notes and to me this is like I, I just love it what do you think about it I think I think it's really nice but it's not one of my favorites mm -hmm. and it is um, I know that perfumes doesn't have any age or gender but I think this is more for a mature man. Mm -hmm. um, wow, I wouldn't see a 20 year old man use this. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's nice. But to me, this is not so sexy. It's a nice fragrance on a man, but mm. it's not sexy. Okay, so your rating? Yeah. Three. Three, okay. Yes. Wow. Um, and I think I might have to. So uh, I'm not sure if I told you which one it is, but this is Barnheit uh, Parfum from Dior. Um, Fahrenheit, the classic one is, uh, I, I just love the classic one. Uh, this one, when I put my nose to it, I fell in love. I think it's a beautiful one. It's completely unique. Uh, so far, my reactions have, have been pretty good with that. Yeah. And I, yeah, I get that you might not enjoy it and some might not enjoy it. But overall, I have positive feedback from both I do younger enjoy women it. and more mature women. Yeah. So, yeah, so you this one I was a three, right? I do enjoy it, but I just don't think it's a sexy fragrance. Mm. So it 
but I still do. the opening got a three, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> so moving on to the next one, and you got uh, close your eyes. And there you go. Mmm, this is sweet. Maybe a little bit boozy, but I might sweet be Sweet and boozy, yes, that's correct. Vanilla and rum. Yeah, vanilla and rum. <laughs> and she always I'm, guesses. You stop guessing I'm on vanilla and rum. I'm understanding this is the one from Initio. Yeah. Yeah, and this is really good. And it was good from right from the beginning. Mm. So, yeah, so that was a good guess. I'm gonna... I'm gonna tell everyone what it is. So this is initial side effect, and I believe this one, this one belonged to two or three that I suggested that you should should buy as your first initials, yes. right? So which one was the first initial that you bought? Uh, the first initial was Mystic Experience, mm, and, and the then next I one? bought a Absolute Aphrodisiac. Ah, so you and don't own it? No. Ah. And. and on my list, I the next one I will buy from it in the show is Rehab, mm. um, and then maybe this one. Mm. This is really nice. It really is, good. right? Yes. So this is, uh, yeah, this is another one that I have reviewed on my uh, channel. Uh, it's one of my top ones from Initio. It has pretty much, it is, it's a unique and really good blend of tobacco. You have some leather. Uh, you have some vanilla or slash sandalwood yeah. um, and some fruit? leather as well. Yeah. Uh, so it is, to me, this is a really good blend of that smoky, leathery, woody, boozy. sweet uh, and boozy. Yeah. 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 Um, so this, uh, yeah, I just love side effect. Um, <clears throat> and most women enjoy it on me. Not everyone, but most. Uh, have you gotten reactions? From women who doesn't like it at all? Um, it no, average? but the thing, the thing with negative compliments is that if someone enjoys your company, yeah. they are rarely going to tell you that you stink, <laughs> unless you really do. <laughs> uh, so when I, what I base my, if if someone doesn't say anything, then it's pretty much yeah. that they e either don't think about the way you smell or don't like it. Uh, but if someone says or something, or maybe it's shy. Yeah, could be shy. Yeah. yeah. Um, but this one is mostly positive reactions. Uh, and when I say that, I mean someone who actually took the time to say something nice. Have you actually ever gotten anyone who said like, whoa, what uh, the hell are A few you times, but uh, they are usually not uh, my friends. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, like a common situation. Not anymore. Not anymore, yeah. Uh, yeah, get out of here. Uh, mm -hmm. No, but uh, usually it's when you are in uh, like a, in an elevator, oh, okay. and if I overspray, which I always do, and I literally in seconds just fill up that elevator, <laughs> and someone just has has the stomach to go out loud like, oh, what's that smell or something? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it doesn't happen that often. But uh, so you so, really enjoy it. What yes. are you gonna give the opening? Uh, this is a five. Whoa. Yes. Nice. Um, so okay, you so close I your am. eyes. Yes. And I think you are going to know the next one straight away because it is so unique. Okay. Here you go. Mm, and we have space rage. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is. I'm kind of sad that you found this before me because I really love it. Ah. It's so amazing. And you actually got one of the last three samples. Yeah, yeah. So not this samples, is really... Uh, oh, no. A <laughs> not samples. Yeah, so we're talking about the Byredo Space Rage mm. Trav X. So that this is the limited edition one. I'm not going, going to go into the entire story behind me buying this one. But to our noses, this is pretty much like pop. So if you know Byredo, Pop is in their standard collection. Mm -hmm. I fell in love with it. This is a recent purchase. I believe I bought it like two or three weeks ago. It's like grapefruit, pepper, maybe musk, something more. And the notes in this one is actually uh, a secret. 
Yeah. No one can know. Uh, Not even even the though, when working. you look at the notes from I look when I when I talk about this one, I usually talk about the notes in Polly. Yeah. And they and have. Those a, are pretty much but the same. to most noses, this is the scent of something that is slightly citrusy at the top, and then like um, more I fermented fruit or mature fruit. I'm not yeah. sure. So not yeah. rotten fruit, but you know, fruit that has. Uh, aged a bit, so yeah. it's aged more a bit in sweet. A good way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, now some people don't like that. They they want their fruits in. They, don't, they want the fruit notes in their perfumes to be more fresh. Yeah. Um, but I, I I think this is so unique that I just fell in love with it. Yeah, this is so amazing, and it smells so wonderful in the dry down. And also, if you spray this on and someone else comes into the room. Uh, this is the first thing mm. that pops in their face and it's just a wonderful, wonderful smell. No one can deny, you gotta agree with me that uh, you it's hard to not pay attention to this one. Yes, yes, because it's so, very unique. Yeah, so in that sense, and I love fragrances like that, so regardless if someone enjoys it or not, I think it's a win if they actually notice it. Yes. Uh, because. M not a lot of people in, you know, notice a scent, especially let's say you go to a party, you're gonna have 10 or 15 or 20 or 50 people in there. Yeah. You gotta stand out in some way. You can do that by just being the one you yes. are with your charisma and everything. You can do it with the way you dress, but you could, you could also add this one as a, a, an extra layer yes. and people are really going to notice you. And one thing about that, I don't know how it is in uh, other parts of the world, but here it's uh, it's not so often that you walk into a room and uh, many people have different kinds of fragrances. Mm, it's yeah, quite that's rare. True. Yeah, that's uh, true. And if you walk uh, on the in the city or in a, in an uh, what do you say <laughs> where the stores are, galleria, um, in a shop mall, or shopping mall, malls. Yes, yeah. shopping malls. It's so rare that you feel someone mm, smell yeah. uh, perfume. Yeah, and that that's is true. really sad. So yeah. just putting anything on <laughs> yeah, will make you stand out. That's but, true. So and that's different. Uh, I travel quite a bit, and I feel that uh, if I, for example, go to Spain, mm, that's pretty much the same thing as here. And when I pick up a scent over there, it's yeah. usually the latest. And when it's a guy's, it's usually like uh, some of the more well-known brands that pretty much yeah. every guy has but when I go to I love going to New York uh, not only because it's one of the best cities in the world but because over there it's like the the scent uh, capital of the world because wow. a lot of people are using at least when you go out clubbing yeah. a lot of people use perfumes okay. uh, I've talked to a few New Yorkers about it some say that the the city stinks so much <laughs> that they really need to <laughs> use something to balance it up uh, but yeah so it's different from and I agree over here uh, I, I don't it's not that common that I actually pick no. out someone else's uh, but anyway back to this one um, what are you gonna give the opening uh, seven. Whoa! <laughs> Out of five. Whoa! That was cool. I think this is so cool. So that was Byredo's Space Rage, and you gotta close your yes. eyes. And it's time for the next one. And the next one is something that I absolutely love, like all of these babies. I hope that you are going to enjoy it, but this one could be something that you hesitate on. No, but it's spice. It's I don't know if you can say fresh spicy in the opening. Yeah, it is. And maybe some citrus as yeah, well. Yeah, there's some citrus in it. Yes. And I to me, it nice. also has a powdery side. It's not as powdery as Prada. Yes, I can feel that now. Yeah. You like it? I like it. Um, but also, this one is one that I. I uh, think it's better on a mature man mm. and that I think that a 20 year old might not like. Whoa, okay, wow. But I really enjoy it. So, so uh, this, if you're going to give your rating then on that one. In the opening, uh, 
three and a half. And three that's and because half. I'm not so into citrusy ah. um, fragrances. Uh, so that's um, uh, Chanel's uh, Chanel Allure Sport O Extreme. Um, this is uh, like a musky, spicy, citrusy. I believe it has also a bit of amber in it. Uh, a bit of woody notes. Um, to me, this is so unique. Um, it's like a perfect mix of something that is fresh, but also has a bit of depth to it. Yes. And not all freshes, uh, fresh fragrances are sexy, but to me, this is really sexy. At least the most important thing is that it makes me feel sexy. But this together with Leighton, and I'm not saying like layering, but no. Leighton and this one uh, are two that are really getting overall really good ratings when I've been dating women and asking them about different scents. This is one that can make women roll their eyes. Apparently not you, you uh, but... Uh, but maybe, because I was just about to say that um, now this is starting to get mm. better and better. Mm. It's like it's like it un unfolds. Mm. Yeah. So in the first first uh, spray, yeah, uh, it's like an onion. It, it has mm. layers. So the first layer wasn't the best, but it's getting better and better. Mm. So let's wait for the dry down. Uh, yeah. So three and a half. Yes. Uh, I love it. Uh, I am going to use this a lot this summer. It usually comes with me when I am going on vacation. Uh, or when, when I'm traveling. Uh, so yeah, interesting. Yeah. And that was three and a half and we have two left and you gotta close your eyes. Um. There you go. Thank you. Mmm, bubble gum. Mmm, <laughs> that's a good, that's a good uh, description of it. Yes, this is really nice. I mean, who doesn't like bubble gum? Like those pink ones. Hubba Bubba. Hubba Bubba. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm not That's sure if Hubba Bubba is uh, <laughs> like international or something. If you have it like in the US or England. No, um, this is so nice. Um, so fruity would, with uh, some hint of grapefruit, I believe. Fruity, sweet, and that, yeah. candy-like. Yeah. And just great. And. This is one that I could wear myself mm. as well. Okay. And probably kind of sexy to smell this on a man, mm. uh, like in his name. Mm. Yes. So uh, what are you going to give the opening? I think it's a five. Wow. Yes. Okay, That's cool. Really so that one was one of my uh, most recent purchases. I believe I bought it like two or three weeks ago. We did a massive <laughs> fragrance haul. It was massive. I believe we had over 20 fragrances. Uh, and this was one of the ones that I bought and it is uh, 1 million parfum. Uh, it was a good choice. Uh, I just love it. Yeah, it's I, really I'm insanely in love with this one. Uh, it's, uh, it, I think this is a completely different scent from the original one. Um, and that's why probably I love it so much. But uh, the bubble gum kind of scent that you brought up uh, or feeling, that's it's the char 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 characteristic from the original. So oh, the original wow. was something that a lot of people have said had that bubble gum kind of oh, feel. Okay. It's, it's interesting that you also pick it up in this one. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I love, I love this one. I'm so happy that I bought it. I'm gonna use it a ton this summer. Uh, and uh, uh, did you give it a... No. Yes. I think I said it was a five. Whoa. Yes. Wow. Okay, cool. It's really good. So yeah. And now we are coming to close to the... No, that is, this is the final one. Yeah. Uh, and you pretty much... There's only <laughs> one bottle much. on this. So yeah, I don't think you need yes. to close your eyes because <laughs> you saw it. Uh, but yeah, this one is... Um, Armani Code Absolute. Mm. I believe I bought this one last year. Uh, overall, the Armani Code line is fabulous, uh, but yeah. this to me is without a doubt the one of the best, if not the best, in, to, in the entire code line. And I mean, I'm, I'm going to be surprised if you are going to be the first woman that I met who tells me that this is no good. 
This is a five. Oh, whoa, whoa. I nice. I think the opening with that sweetness, the caramel, um, or caramel or toffee, mm. some, something like that. It's just so nice. And I have smelled, I don't know how many Armani coats I have tried. You do have you one. Have, you have, have Profumo. One. Yeah. Do you have one or do you have more? And I know I used to have another one. This is actually currently the only coat I ha have. Okay. Because I stepped, I bought, uh, I bought the original code, uh, and I bought one of the Profumo. There's the Profumo, and then you have another one. Yes. Uh, but when I finished those bottles, I just quit that line pretty much entirely because every single man on planet Earth had a bottle of code, yes. and I can't smell like anyone else. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> so I quit that one. But when they released Code Absolute, uh, they got me hooked again because it's pretty much the best one. Uh, so what are you gonna give the opening then? Uh, it's a five. Five. It's really good. Okay. Is it um, sexy? Is it just nice? What do you think? It's sexy. It's nice. It's just sweet and nice. Mm. And it's I would enjoy this on myself and on a man. Mm. Um, and I do have the, I think the one I have is Profumo. Armani, Profumo. Yeah. And no way. Yeah. It is, no, no, Armano, Armani Code Profumo. Yes. Because there's a, another one that is yeah. Aqua di Gio Profumo, I believe. Yeah. And now I'm getting curious about that one. Ah. Um, but I really like this one. Cool. So you give it a five, right? I give it a five. Cool. So let's put it under the bottle and we are going to go to the dry downs yes so the dry down of Leighton this is not my favorite mm -hmm. I, I mean I love perfume uh, perfume de Marly but it's not my favorite so, so what are you gonna give the dry down then? maybe a three three yes. okay it's okay. better than the opening ah. but still not my favorite okay so, um, yeah, moving on to uh, Santal 33. Yes, the one that smelled like dill in the opening. And by now you shouldn't be able to pick that up. It should be more woody. I do, woody. but it's, you do. it's much more of the sandalwood and cedar than I, that I'm picking up. Mm, okay. And um, I think, <laughs> how do I talk? I think it's amazing still, so this is a, it's a five in the dry ah, okay. as well. Okay, yes. cool. Nice. And it's really cool and very unique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, and then we have oh Prada Lom Intense. Oh, yes. This is also a five. Nice. Uh, it's so sexy, it's so masculine. And I'm gonna uh, change what I said earlier. I would not enjoy this on myself. Mm -hmm. I think it's a real male fragrance. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so interesting. Yes. Okay, cool. It's so masculine. you really enjoy that one. I believe you are going to still love uh, Tom Ford's <laughs> yes. Umber Leather, but yeah, let's go. Oh my God, this just gets better and better. And now, <laughs> I can hardly put into words what I feel when I smell this one. Mm. Uh, it's like the best inside of a car ever. Mm, yeah, it's so good. Yeah. It's so good. So uh, what are you going to give the dry down? Five. Five? Seven. <laughs> I can't remember which one. Yeah, it was Face Race that got a seven, right? Yes. Yeah, I think so. So now let's move on to uh, Fahrenheit, Le Par uh, Fahrenheit Parfum. And this one, I believe you gave a three, a three. maybe. And it's still a three. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a nice perfume, but I don't think it's sexy. Okay. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Uh, and then we have side effect. Yeah, you are going to love it I still. I am going to. Yes, much more of the vanilla now. Yeah, it dries down basically. I kind of miss the rum and tobacco mm. that was present in the beginning. Mm. But, so now I think this is a four. Mm -hmm. Wow. I wish okay. that uh, the tobacco and rum would have stayed there. Mm. Yeah, the thing with uh, a lot of these sort of that had a a vanilla in the base is that usually the vanilla is pretty much all that you pick up in the end. Yeah. So it's pretty common. Um, but yeah, and then Space Rage. Space Rage to me is fairly linear 
in the sense that yes. you sh it should... It smells the yeah, same. Yeah. Uh, so this is still a seven. I think wow. it's such a beautiful fragrance. And cool. if you, you, or I mean, not if, you can't find this because they're all sold out. But if you want to try it or have anything like it, go try Pop because it's yeah. so amazing. Yeah. Um, the cool thing though about this one, and I'm not sure if that's what separates Space Rage to Pop, but because I feel that that sort of a fizzy opening stays longer with Space Rage okay. than Pop. Um, I feel that's one of the few and subtle differences, but there's like a fizzy sparkling opening and that okay. one to me it's starting to fade away now, but I'm not sure if you can feel it, that it's a bit fizzy and poppy yeah. and sparkling. That one still remains after, what is it now, like 10 minutes yeah. or something. And what I think is cool, I, I can really smell the grapefruit mm. still, and that is also something that I think uh, usually fades yeah, away yeah. in the dry yeah. down. So this is, this is uh, one of those that I feel is really sort of a potent and strong when it comes to Bioredo at yeah. least. So when you use it, do you have to use many sprays? I know you always do. I, I always overspray, but I guess, I'm not sure why, but with this one, maybe I go with like yeah, five or eight sprays instead of my usual like 12 <laughs> to 20. And I'm not kidding. No, uh, not. So cool. So you gave both, it was basically a seven and a seven. Yeah. So moving on to a Chanel Allurum Sport O Extreme. What are you going to give that one? It's better now, um, but still not my favorite. Mm. So maybe three and a half. Three and a half. Yes. Okay. I can't. You gotta check the score uh, when you edit yeah. this video. But I believe you gave it three and a half the I opening think as well. So. Yes. I uh, think so. Moving on to the one you really, and really enjoyed, which is one million mm, parfum. <laughs> This is still a bubblegum fragrance and it's amazing. So, still a five. Mm. I think it's so nice and I could also use it myself. Mm. It's a really a unisex fragrance. Cool, and then last but not least, we have Armani Code Absolute, yes. the dry down. And this is still so great. Nice. Not so much uh, toffee or caramel anymore, mm. but Sweet and round and nice. Yeah, it nice. should still be uh, a bit uh, powdery though. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. I'm not sure if you can pick that up. Yes, I can. Um, and still a five. Cool. Yes. So overall, if you are going to judge now this, I mean, I could have chosen, I, be, I, I think I tried to pick out kind of different scents. So you yes. have the uniqueness of Santal. Yeah. Then you have some the powderiness of Prada, then you have the freshness of, let's say, Allurum Sport yeah. or Leighton, yeah. and then you have some tobacco leatherish with the side effect, and then you have the pure, not pure, but the really nice leather of Ombre Leather. Yeah. Then you have really powdery from Armani Code, you have the fruity side of One Million Parfum, you have the super fruity side of Bioredo. So I believe I picked out quite a few, a wide array and a wide range yes. of different scents. But overall, if you would summarize, was it like, at least to your taste, do you think I have a good taste? Yes. Based uh, on these, because you gave them quite the, I mean, with the exception of Allure and Sport. Uh, so these two, I believe, Allure and Sport and Fahrenheit Parfum were, was your least, yes. yeah. Yes. So, so without those, you gave pretty much everyone a Five, and also right? yeah late them yeah 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 that's um, interesting but i do know you you do have great taste and i was i had high expectations for the, these ones and i think that if you are just going to go with um what you think i like mm. um and maybe don't maybe then don't have the alarm sport and fahrenheit uh i think i would have given uh, all of them 10. so let's do this uh, if you are going to pick out three absolute favorites from these yes. quickly, not... Then I'm going with Byredo, Space Rage, okay. Tom Ford, uh, Ombre Leather and Prada. Long Whoa, Intense. Oh, okay. Yes. So look at this, guys. Uh, these three uh, was her uh, favorites among my, uh, ten of my favorites. That's a pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, cool. 
So um, this is a really nice selection. Nice, cool. So if you are a guy and you are going on a date, then you now know what to choose. Yep, you yes. do. Uh, and you do know what you should wear after the date or or play, any any play. time yeah you really <laughs> enjoyed Prada a long yeah. time yeah <laughs> it's so nice uh, so don't forget to visit Rotten Rebels channel he has so many great great videos and he puts out new stuff uh, every single day uh, and of course don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel Thank and you. hit that notification bell yes yeah. you should do that uh, and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.